Hello guys, another video from my car as every Friday on this channel. Not that much about Laravel, but more about career and productivity. But this time I want to be a bit more technical. After a recent accident by CrowdStrike software taking down half of the world software with banks and airports and stuff like that, I thought to brainstorm on one topic with you together. What can developers do? What can we do to prevent one developer from a big screw up like happened in the case of CrowdStrike. So one single developer pushed some update, whatever that was, which took down the system. At least that's the general version I've read. So I thought in our Laravel case for Laravel framework, what can a single developer do and what can the team do for that developer to avoid such screw ups? And I thought about four things I could identify that you could kind of learn or improve your knowledge about to minimize the risks of that to happen. So first thing I want to advise is to learn everything about Git. There should be some kind of process within your company or even when you work alone, what are the branches and where you push to and when. There are kind of general guidelines and rules and generally how Git works, but usually every company has their own kind of processes, rules, naming of branches, naming of commits, and who can push where with permissions and stuff like that. So you need to follow the process pretty strictly to avoid something wrong happening on the wrong branch, which may be accidentally pushed to live. And I have a few videos about what you need to know about Git in general, and I will link them in the description below, as well as other videos related to the topics of this video. So my advice number two to learn or to improve is .env file in Laravel. It's one of the most typical screw up on production where developers, for example, forget to change app URL, forget to change app env to production, forget to change app debug to false, misconfigure some drivers or something related to config. So please understand the main parameters, the main variables in env file. Also learn how to use .env.example if you work in a team. This is very important when launching project to live and just generally working with multiple environments. Tip number three is kind of a no brainer, but time and time again, I see people don't do that. Back up your database. Or in fact, it's even easier. Install Spati backup package, Spati Laravel backup, in the very beginning of your project and in the very beginning after the first deployment schedule the backups every day or every week whatever you prefer or every hour just automate it and forget it of course don't forget to try it at least once try the backup just play the scenario that for example database server goes down and then you take the backup sql from the package hopefully it's on a separate server that's a separate story and then try to import it back to the database and see if the project still works again. So the advice is kind of not just set up the backup but actually try it at least once. And then thing number four is kind of not that technical but about deployment process it should be reviewed. So a rule of thumb is at least two people have to see every code pushed to the production just to avoid silly human errors or maybe the other eyes would notice something that the first pair of eyes didn't. And this is what often happened in our team in Laravel Daily, even for creating the content. If the same topic is covered by a few people, it's usually broader. Every developer, every content writer has their own opinion or their own take, or maybe examples from their experience, stuff like that. So almost always the content pushed to Laravel Daily in form of courses or premium tutorials is reviewed and edited by at least two people. In case of content, it just makes it better in my opinion. And in case of IT project deployment, such code review prevents screw ups. So these are just four things I thought about what you can learn or improve in case of Laravel to prevent screw ups like CrowdStrike or similar ones. Now it's your turn to add something to that list. What things would you learn or adopt or improve or processes? It's not just about the code to prevent various accidents in production. Let's discuss in the comments below. That's it for this time and see you guys in other videos.